The University at Buffalo's North Campus much quieter today after pro-Palestine protesters clashed with police last night, ending with more than a dozen arrests. This local protest echoing similar demonstrations at schools across the country, organizers calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. UB says it told protesters they needed to leave by dusk. 15 people who allegedly violated that policy were taken into custody. But today, we've learned only five were students. The other 10 are believed to be unaffiliated with the university. 7 News is a voice for everyone. And tonight, senior reporter Eileen Buckley is exploring this complicated topic with a variety of perspectives. You'll hear from last night's protests, students on campus today, and Erie County's top official. Campus unrest hit the university at Buffalo's North Campus in Amherst Wednesday night during a pro-Palestinian protest. According to university leaders, some individuals with no known affiliation to the school infiltrated a peaceful protest. UB police were joined by state police, the Erie County Sheriff's Office, Buffalo and Amherst police, warning students to leave or face arrest. There was 30 more cop cars here. They're pushing us back. 15 people were arrested for failing to comply, but UB says 10 of those arrested have no affiliation with UB. The five others are UB students. We're just trying to figure out who those individuals were from the standpoint of our, are these individuals have a long-standing history of just protesting and getting arrested. Free Palestine! Some students say the arrest stomped on their right to free speech. But in a statement from UB, it reads in part that while the decision to arrest individuals occurred after multiple discussions, communications and warning to protesters, UB police prioritized the safety and security of the university community. Two police officers were assaulted and treated for minor injuries. I think that they have to step in to reduce violence when necessary, but I think that the quality of free speech should be upheld. It made me a little upset being Jewish myself, um, just to see that people are kind of instigating other students. On Thursday, the campus was calm and peaceful, but unrest from the night before is upsetting some students. So as a Jewish student, it's incredibly um, difficult. I know a lot of us are feeling incredibly unsafe right now, and we just want peace on both sides. But some Jewish students tell me what is very disturbing is using this type of messaging using the Star of David. Is that just a desecration of the Star of David? It is, honestly. I think that everyone should be able to be proud of who they are and, you know, shout that off. But when people do things like that, it's very disheartening. That we're becoming so uh, desensitized to anti-Semitism on college campuses, and it's becoming a real issue. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Amherst.